seems that this particular uh, entity uh, came and went um, in a location that was on my grandparents' farm uh, just above my parents' house and um, uh, closely associated with uh, a water source. And uh, apparently, um, from what I learned that night, I wasn't the first member of the, of the family that it had reached out to, but the last one had been like in the 1920s, so it had been a while. So it it, it seems like it was attached to the to the ground there, um, or at least that's where it liked to uh, come and go. Yeah, I, I, I'm right there with you. I agree okay, 100%. I'm I'm all about uh, you know I, I can follow the lore and I know what you know some of these you know. I, I had a book that I purchased. I don't have it in front of me, but it's called uh, it's called Backwoods Witchcraft. Okay, now the book, the title's very catchy, but it's Appalachian folklore and remnants. Yeah. And so I I get the book. I'm start reading through it, and yeah, it tells you things that uh, almost sounds like spell casting or whatever, but it's not. You're quoting the Bible. You quote certain verses to get rid of burns and it works correct yes yeah that's you know, it yeah it, it's it's just stuff that we grew up with here you know it, it's things that we we believe but it's it's rooted in christianity it's rooted in faith in god and i had people i had some hate mail sent to me that said i was a, a hillbilly witch and i wouldn't know a church i wouldn't know a christian if i passed one in a church and you know it's all kinds of hate uh but they don't understand where you know where you and I would come from. Correct. You know what I mean. So yeah. Yeah, I I, I appreciate that. I've got that same book. Um, <laughs> I, I know that. Yeah. Um, and I um, I used to struggle to figure out how to define where I was. And I read a paper by a gentleman uh, from West Virginia State University called um, Appalachian Folk Magic and Protestant Christianity. Yeah, and I'm reading this, and I thought, "Holy cow, this guy like nailed it." That it's in the bibliography in the second book. Um, okay, and I, uh, I mean, I could see um, people from my childhood. I thought, "I, I know these people." Yeah, and um, what, I have taken some flack, but interestingly enough, mostly from the Christian community. Um, I've got, I've got one really close friend that, that's um i'm not sure if you describe her as a pagan or a witch but but she calls me christian man and i take it as a compliment because yeah, i mean we have um like respectful informative conversations about well this is what i believe and why and it, it it's helped me a lot um had it been taught openly um the world would be a different place i think um I, I agree. I think the, the supernatural worldview is definitely something that has been lost um, in, in our faith, for sure. Oh, and, I agree. Um, you know, even a lot of Christians say, you know, ghosts aren't real. Uh, you know, it's like that. I, I don't understand how you can wrap your head around that. Um, you know, it says in the Bible, you know, that doesn't Jesus say something to the effect of do not be afraid. I'm not a ghost. Correct. Uh, if ghosts weren't real, he wouldn't say that. Correct. Uh, like Heiser said, if necromancy wasn't possible, they wouldn't warn against it. Correct. <laughs> you know, these, these things are literally real, and we need to be aware of it. That it's, it's not, like you said, all fairy tale. And we live in a supernatural world. I, have one, I do have one more question for you. I, sure. Um, okay, I might have like 5,000 questions, and we could do this all night long, but... Well, there's uh, email and, you know, <laughs> that, that's right. Uh, Bigfoot. You said you think you might have seen a Bigfoot one time. I would yes. love to hear what what you saw and what you think Bigfoot is. Actually, I think I saw it twice. Mm. Um, first time um, was quite some distance away uh, on a gas line right away. Mm. Um, it's kind of similar to what's in the book, the first book. Um, yep standing next to a tree and when uh, when it realized i thought it was a bear at first up on its hind legs till it stepped back and it didn't walk like a bear um 
and I haven't, I don't think I've said this publicly. I saw one, what I think was one at the historical society um, down along the creek, but I only saw like the top half of it. Whatever this thing was, was very large and it was very hairy and it was upright. Um, I've been asked this several times um, about what I think Bigfoot is, and I'll give you the same answer I give everybody else. I'm a Greene County farm boy. And if Greene County, ref if uh, Sasquatch were flesh and blood, somebody would have popped one and had it in front of the courthouse. <laughs> yeah. I, I think they're interdimensional. Like a lot of this stuff is, um, like most of it is, for all I know, uh, Sasquatch, Jinn, and Shadow People could all be the same thing. Um, I don't think it is yet because don't have enough proof, but um, I, I think they're interdimensional.